Three slips and a gully for Mackay and Tini. In the air. Justin Kemper saying, I'll take it. And he does take it. Mackay and Tini is back in the side. He's well again. And he's got South Africa a wicket very, very early in proceedings. It's deafening in Mumbai. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Six for one. It's a packed house here today. And this is literally like a final. Slap that away for four. Now that's got the crowd tonight. Now this is a very good shot. It's not all that bad a delivery. He uses the depth of the crease. Back across, bang. And what's interesting to me there, Ravi, is that he, he really gave that something. He's given that as well. Chases on Johan Botter. And two more. The expectations of the, you, uh, of the whole nation on your shoulders. What an outstanding shot. There was some considerable swing from that delivery from Sean Pollock. And it was thrashed to the boundary. Well, stand up tall and deliver. He generates tremendous bat speed, this man. And again. Goodness me. Now this is an even better shot. Not too much dissimilar to the last delivery, but look how he waits on it. The weight this time is on the back foot. And just opens the face of the blade and crashes it through the offside. He's always on the attack. He thinks attack all the time. Through extra cover off the back foot. What an outstanding shot that is from Sachin Tendulkar. Now when you see him play that shot, you've got to realize that uh, this man's in pretty good nick. Here we go again, put the seatbelt on, Pollock v Sewell. Crunch! What a way to start the over. Wow, there's no messing around here. Aggression met with aggression. He's a different sort of player, Sewell. Short, he's had a go, he's hit at Miles. Goodness me! It's not that often you see Sean Pollock try a bouncer. I think he'd run out of ideas to a certain extent. It was short and it disappeared over the right for half a dozen. Now, this is an amazing shot. It's like a first serve in tennis. It's not a horizontal bat shot. He's he smashed this. He's tossed the ball up in the air and bang. That's an ace. That has gone the distance. Deafening sound around this Wapale Stadium. Now this is where a captain is made to take. Why do I set my free left? Got to have two men in catching positions. Again, one bounce, screaming away from another boundary. This is sensational batting. Enjoy it while it lasts. Now forget the boundary. This man's a butcher. That's bludgeoned through the offside. I don't think any ball's gone to the boundary quicker today than that. One bounce back with a point into the fence. Three boundaries in this over. This man's a butcher. Big shout from Bautrovic. Oh, up goes the finger. Well, I'm not convinced about that. I think that was going down leg side. South Africa will take it, though. It is the end of uh, something special from Brenda Sawag and a disappointing end of that. Well, you've got to look at the height as well. He's on his toes, a little unfortunate there. That would have not only gone on top of the stumps, it would have missed next stump as well. One is, is it sliding down? The other, is it too high? Feet off the ground as well. Enough element of doubt to have been given in the favour of the batsman. There's some of the more expensive seats here. Over the top of slip. Four. Gerald Alley, you're going to slash, slash hard. Well, the little man is a big occasion player. He went after it, but the important thing, he went at it extremely hard. Making sure, if it gets any part of his bat, it's going to fly away. Make it difficult for the non striker. This was the boundary. No half measures. Beautifully played. He plays this stroke as well as most, you know. And you just look at how well balanced he is and where his head is when he strikes the ball. Well, there's trouble here, wrong end. 
would have been a comedy of errors. Peterson, the fielder. Rahul Dravid had no idea where the ball had gone. Sachin Tendulkar, just look at him. Kept going, 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 and the throw was to the wrong end. Four. Again, nicely timed. He's having a good year at Monday Internationals. The leading scorer. 1026 with that boundary. And a change of bowling. I'm going to Andre Nell replaces Makai Antini. Oh, well bowled. Beautiful delivery. Beautiful delivery. Great delivery. Do well, Tendulkar, just to erase that from his memory and carry on. The bowler will remember. Run down to third man. For four. I've said this before and I say it again. It's a cruel game for bowlers. The last delivery was a genuine beauty. Beating Tendulkar all ends up. The next one wasn't a bad delivery either. But well controlled in the end from Tendulkar. Playing close to the body, just opening the face of the bat at the last moment. Oopsie! Oh! Think he might have been gone. Andrew Hall, the fielder. Tendulkar's got a grin on his face, which might tell you that he's just happy to still be there. Surely, if he'd hit. No, would have made it. Four more for Dravid. Some coming of Stevak, some of uh, Chindulka, but this one. Probably the best. Known as the wall. Most of us expected him to bat number three. He's looking in very, very good touch. One of the leading run scorers in 2005, Rahul Dravid, having just gone past Ricky Ponting. Rinda Siwa in at number three. The only South African in the list, Graham Smith. Mahendra Dhoni, 883, averaging over 50. Lovely shot. He's played a couple in that fashion in this innings. Worth watching. In the air, force ball after Drinks and Tenduka dismissed. In fact, it was Ashwell Prince who's taken a magnificent catch there. That was slapped hard by Sachin Tendulkar, but this South African fielding is brilliant. Unbelievable. This is right from the meat of the bat. Take a look at that. No reaction time, just the leap to the right. But they make it stick. This is a huge, huge blow for the Indians. 83 for 3 now. Tendulkar out for 30. Yuvraj Singh comes out to the middle. Oh, he's got that away fine. We'll have to wait for the umpire signal. No signal from the umpire. So a boundary and Yuvraj on his way. That was up ish, but in the gap. He likes it in that area and uh, he's a sweet timer of the ball, Yuvraj. Yeah, it's crunch time right now. In the next hour, he's going to talk. Such a sweet timer of the ball. Desperate dive from Sean Langerford. I think that might be uh, referred to the third umpire for a quick squiz. Get the feeling it might be a boundary. Too close for comfort. Yeah, it's going to be tough to talk from this one. It's in his hand now. And he hits the rope. But has he just let go of it? This will uh, give us a better angle. I think it's OK. I think that's fine. Watch it bounce off his hand straight away. Plenty of doubt. Oh, so it's fine, Shiv. Oh, he's given up four. I wonder how crucial that's going to be in the outcome of this game. That's a bonus two runs as far as I'm concerned. I thought it was a very good decision. Well, you would. Surely the benefit should go to the fielding side. Why would you say that? Any benefit of doubt should be given to the batsman. The lookalikes. Uh, I've seen the uh, lookalike of Mahendra Dhoni. 
Thanks to uh, Vrinda Sarek and Sachin Tendulkar at the ground here in Mumbai. Not with that sort of line, that's away for four. The skipper out there has to battle it out against some very good bowling. Good shot. One bounce for beautifully played. Well, he's taken up the challenge. And he also did the right thing by going over the wicket. He tried to hit it on the leg side. Good use of the feet. Just the bottom hand coming to play at the last moment to get the elevation. Hard into the ground. Over the top of Peterson, the covers, and running away. Four runs. See, this outfield's been quick today. And for a change, we're able to say, well, this is buying somebody else a shot. And this one was a real beauty. Oh, he's hit that so sweetly. It's burst through the man at short mid-wicket. And isn't going to get to the boundary, and nobody ran after it. Cullis was the man who had beat. And uh, Johan Buerta assumed it was going for four. This is a pressure match. Good to see him come out of his normal position. Yuvraj is quick. Ah! And he has to hurry. And dive. Pollock the fielder. Good throw. Well gathered in too by Johan Buerta on the half volley. But Yuvraj already there. In fact, he looked like he'd been there for 20 minutes. Didn't he? Oh, what a shot. He oozes class, this man, every time uh, he plays shots like that. Drive it over his shoulders. He's decided he's not going to be bowled to with a mid on up and a mid off up. He's going to go over the top to put one of them back. Maybe a couple more. I quite agree. Have to get wickets. There's Dravid just talking. You've read through it. Steady. We've got six this over. It's fine. Dravid goes to 50. And a very, very valuable one it is too. The timing of it, in lots of ways, is perfect. This is 65th One Day International 50. Captain rises to the occasion. This is a fine innings under pressure. So Renel back into the attack. It's absolutely necessary. I must feel that he should have a slip as well. <laughs> I was listening to uh, the test match from Australia this morning. Bill Laurie says, I don't know what it is. He middle the ball these days and all he end up doing is getting threatened. And sometimes ending up being run out, as uh, Inzamam found out in Pakistan. Oh, a shocking decision that was. But made by the third umpire as well. Had the rule book lying on the table. So, at the moment, uh, they need wickets desperately, South Africa. And because of shots like that, he's got the time, uh, he's a quality player. Genuine match winner in the one-day game. Yeah, their dream is slipping away, their dream becoming the first side, first South African side to win a one-day series in India. It is slowly but surely slipping away, unless something extraordinary happens. Like a little nick as it goes through to the keeper. And a stare. Well, he is predictable, Nell. But you've got to say that uh, being a little luckless, uh, the South Africans, lots of balls that have gone past the bat, no edges. Haven't had the rub of the green at all. Beautifully timed, clipped away off his tie pad. Callas trying to swoop and save the second run, doesn't do so. These are very, very important runs, not only for the series, but for the career. And just as I say that, they've got the big one. They've got Yuvraj Singh, just what South Africa wanted, the edge, and taken quite easily by Boucher. Well, he's a direct cricketer on right now. There might be a few smiles and a few stares, but he does the business. The line is right. Just fending for a little bit and a healthy neck through to Mark Boucher, who does the rest. And now starts his huge celebration and almost falls over. So, Yubrat Singh goes for a very well played 49. 
<laughs> he certainly is pumped up. Uh, but really, South Africa have got now a foot in the door. They've got an opening that they can try and capitalize on, although India just need 59. But a wicket now could be handy. Tony just arriving. Oh, goodness me. Boucher tried his best. Tipped it over the top of the bar and two runs the result. All right, you are. I'll tell you what, there's one guy who is uh, with the ball in his hand who's doing his very, very best at the moment. He wants Dravid. Look at the determination on that face. It's a lovely drive though, and it's gone. That is beautifully played. Great control from Dravid. I guess that must have been one of the reasons they wanted to change the ball. Good footwork. Just making sure that it goes very straight and to the right of the bowler. Follow through is on the offside. You play it onto the onside very deliberately. Pulled away this time. Just the one. That's even going to work in a schoolyard these days. I think he's more to pump himself up for the occasion. Just keep himself focused, determined, and maybe will his way to a wicket. frustration and that's a bit of bad luck for Nell you want to interpret that? Uh, no <laughs> frustration put India under enormous pressure in front of 50,000 people in Mumbai and then of course uh, the bonus wicket of Rinder Sawag who was a judged LBW good shot and through so 40 overs gone slapping the same stage we're 155 for 3 India has uh, handed the lead 182 for 4 and uh, drive with 16 out of 90 balls and Donny's just arrived I agree with a couple out of those, but not maybe the last one. Well, the second last one, I should say. Don't you disaster. For the opposition, he means. Oh, I OK. <laughs> Saxon the master, of course, that's for sure. I agree with that one. It's pulled away for four. It's got the pace for batsmen to be able to really play and get value, sh value for their shots. It's got something in it for everybody, the bowlers and the batsmen. Smith's got a hand to it, but it's raced away for four. In certain days, when things go your way, it's going to go very much in your favour. He's in pain, Graham Smith. Held the edge. Oh, just a fingertip. Might have cracked the middle finger or the ring finger in his left hand. And he's getting it wet. <laughs> Sean Pollock. I've never seen anybody shine a ball in their chest before. Not inside the shirt, anyway. Oh, there's a neck. Did hear that one. And off he goes. Down he goes. But I think it might all be just a little bit too late. Beautiful stroke. And that is... The advantage of having a specialist batsman come in in these situations. It's crowd here. That's it. And an awful lot of people are very, very happy. They deserve to tonight. They kept South Africa at bay with their spinners. South Africa lost it in the middle order, really. And they were restricted to 221. And India came out blazing. 
the captain would like to thank the whole of Mumbai for their support today's little hero and he answered everybody in the best possible way that's with a win and with his own back Chibi. and I think the captain left from the front 78 not out of 106 balls came at a very important time but you'd have to say